Hey folks, once again, it's Captain James Nelson here with Dude Craft Guitars. Check out this thing. Isn't that cool? It is exactly what you think it is. It's a guitar made out of a cigar box. Uh, in the industry, we got a term for that. We call them cigar box guitars. Hey, imagine that. Um, this one's very special, though. This one is going to start a series. I'll make cigar box guitars, too. I've got a whole collection of cigar boxes, uh, thanks to a friend of mine. And uh, I plan on making them. Well, when I told my wife this, she said, well, I got one that my mom painted. Will you make a guitar for me? So I said, sure. And I told her I'd make it for her by her birthday. As usual, I was a day or two late. But I did get uh, most of it started and, and ready to go. Now I'm finished. In the meantime, uh, Pat had passed away. Pat being Amanda's mom who painted this guitar. So I'm going to show you the painting that she did many years ago. She got into this painting and she got to where she was painting anything that wasn't moving. And I guess the cigar box was laying around. So she painted this beautiful little picture on there. And uh, so in her honor, our cigar box guitars that I will be making will be called the Pat. So this is the very first Pat model. Uh, I did put Goto tuners on there. Uh, actually, and that's about, you know, that's about it as far as, you know, upgraded acronyms. I mean, um, well, and a little flame maple on the neck. Uh, cigar box guitars are made to look like they were made by, a, a, you know, someone, a traveler, a wayward traveler, made it out of parts that he found. And that that's the whole idea. I tried to keep that, that concept going and keep it simple and not, not too overdrawn. Um, I did, of course, use the zero fret. Uh, that's very popular with cigar box guitars, actually. Uh, the neck itself is just a piece of poplar and uh, carved uh, very lightly because it's a small neck. You don't want to carve it too much, and there's no truss rod. So you're actually uh, really going with the wood on that one and hoping that it, it holds. And they do. These things are made to be played with one finger, or they, at least they can be. And that's, that's the way we did this one for Amanda. That's what she wanted to do. Um, I made the bridge assembly there. And some of you guys might know that's actually a Floyd Rose uh, piece that goes up here. So it's kind of funny. It's a little string tensioner. Uh, but I made the bridge a little wraparound type design out of a chunk of walnut. And uh, this thing's got a piezo or some people call it piezo. I put in here with double face tape. Some guys use hot glue. I put it there because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to keep it. It is, it is kind of noisy. I may put it on the soundboard. So I did cut that like a little crescent shape thing going on there. It was it was really a, a pleasure to to build this you know a very special little build indeed um so i'm going to give you a little sample of what it can sound like uh keep in mind like i said that that little piezo does pick up a little bit of everything so i'm not going to play it with distortion because it kind of squeals you have to have just the right amount of distortion on and i haven't tuned my pedal board for it so there we got just open it's open g major tuning um if you want a minor well, on G, you're not going to get it with any regular fingering. But if I did like an A, I would just make uh, make my finger here. So A minor. But if I want A major. cigar box guitar for you that's what it sounds like and again because the the piezo's in there i can make a little percussion with it i'm not coordinated enough for that there's a reason why i build guitars <laughs> all right that's it uh I, again you know sorry for you know the little bit of the somberness but uh to, again it, it is a, a special guitar and i was I was more than happy to make it for Amanda. Uh, just so you know, the, the scale length, you can make them however you want. Some guys do regular full, you know, G or F scale. Uh, I went with a 21 and a half inch just to make it something compact that, that Amanda could just play however she wants. And, you know, if anybody wants to order one, I can make it however you'd like. You can actually make these uh, with six strings if you want. Uh, but the three string open tuning like that, I think is just pretty cool. Some guys... Uh, don't bother with frets. They like making uh, slide guitars out of lap steel. And that can be done as well. Uh, that's it. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in to Dude Craft Guitars. 
uh, keep checking the videos, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, keep checking for that uh, Great Guitar Build-Off video series that is coming. I do promise. Uh, just got projects I'm catching up on, and uh, we'll, we'll get on that. I promise. I know I got a deadline October 17th there, so uh, we'll do it. All right? Thanks again for tuning in to DudeCraft Guitars.